Good morning. Praise the Lord and greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As we spend this a few minutes in the presence of God meditating on God's word, may the Holy Spirit open our eyes to see the wonders of God's word and strengthen your faith. Today's meditation is based on 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 15. There is it says here sanctify the lord jesus christ in your heart now christianity is a religion of the heart this is the emphasis in this uh, verse and in fact one should read the entire chapter chapter 3 of 1 peter to get a clearer picture of the explanation of what is going to happen when you sanctify Jesus in your heart how your practical life will be and uh, sanctifying the lord jesus christ must be must be something that has to be done within the hearts of god's people now heart is the throne room of a person whoever or whatever occupies the throne in your heart will rule you remember your heart is a throne room there is a throne whom you keep in that throne and what you keep mostly in your th- in that throne will rule you and control you as you know whoever rules he controls and you have to obey his orders and whatever comes out of your heart will either make you wicked or a saint for this reason the apostle paul apostle peter i'm sorry apostle peter give us this exhortation man is a shrine man is like a temple and a man is a sanctuary as the bible says brother and don't you know that your bodies are the temples of the living god and another place he says don't you know that your body is the temple of the holy spirit who lives in your heart and so you see a man in total is a uh, like a sanctuary and it is very important for us to remember as such if you if if you are a sanctuary or a temple in which god lives man is a place of worship because all of us know what a sanctuary meant for it is meant for singing the praises of god who is seated on the throne and glorifying him it is a worship place and uh, let me make this remark in connection with this <clears throat> man is the only creature who is made into a worshiping creature only he has the capacity to reach god through his worship and in this temple there is also a congregation a crowd consisting of your wishes your motives your ambitions your desires and uh, your yearnings and your uh, longings these are all members of the congregation and if you are a christian then christ also is there in your heart and then there is another person in your heart that is yourself i want you to listen to today's meditation very clear very carefully and there is a third person and that third third person is 
none other than the devil or satan himself and all these are very forceful uh, persons forceful powers trying to dominate you by getting into your heart and ruling you and controlling you and let me say this before i say anything else one most important truth you need to know christ should be the chief of all these and the one in command to whom the rest of the congregation members must bow down and kneel and confess that jesus christ is lord Jesus Christ in other words must be the supreme the supreme commander the master of all of these three two are very powerful not easy to unseat them or get them out of this throne they are the devil and yourself self feels the throne is rightfully his it is not easy to unseat him yourself the devil doesn't mind sharing the throne with yourself whether you want him in or not even if you don't want him to come in he will force his way into your heart remember what jesus wants about him he is like a thief and he is a thief and the thief comes in how he doesn't come and seek your permission to get into your house does he he doesn't come and ring the bell or or, or knock at your door i am I am the thief here and uh, please open the door he doesn't say that if he desire to come he will somehow get into you by force he will force and he will break open the door of your heart that's what jesus why does he come he comes remember he comes to steal and to kill and to destroy what is he saying he seeks an entrance into your heart because he his one purpose his one aim is steal everything that is human within you and see the destruction and death of you at the end that is his final goal the only one and one and only one who can save you from this devil is the lord jesus christ he seeks an entrance into your heart not forcing he never forces will on anybody he is outside gently knocking at the door of your heart by many ways when you listen to a gospel message it is a knocking while listening to uh, the teaching like today he is still knocking at your door seeking an entrance and uh, the latch is inside the bolt is inside he is outside he doesn't break open he gently knocks it is for you to get up what he wants is he is seeking your permission to come in he does not take your life by force when you understand that without jesus life is not going to be a success not going to be fruitful at the end 
it will be a loss if Jesus Christ is not in our life and when you recognize this truth you willingly open the heart and open the door of your heart and invite Jesus to come in that's what Jesus does Jesus does not force himself into you my brother He will not force but to seek your permission and to wait for you to open the heart's door for him to come in. Once he comes in, he occupies the throne. He is not going to be in the corner or by the side. He will occupy your entire heart. And remember what I said the one who rules sit on the throne of your heart that person or that thing will rule you and the one who rules you will control you and it is better for you my brother my young friends my children to allow Jesus to come in and to control you and to rule you he knows what is best for you and he knows what you need and he will always meet your need you will be the happiest person once you surrender yourself to Jesus Christ this is his desire and i pray that you will willingly open the heart's door and let Jesus come in and be the ruler otherwise who is controlling you today by your behavior by the way you treat others all will show you who is in control it is easy whether the devil is controlling you but every problem we face remember it is not always from the devil your self when the self also is controlling you you bring upon yourself all kinds of calamities and difficulties you don't cannot even blame the devil because it is what you desire within your heart and so let the lord be the ruler of your life father for this we surrender ourselves to you Yes I pray that many who hear this will willingly open the door of their hearts right now and let you come in for them to experience the life transforming changing power of your resurrection Thank you Lord bless your people in Jesus name amen We will continue this study and next tomorrow we will consider what it really means to set apart Jesus Christ in your heart what it means tomorrow god bless you have a good day today